What up, what up? This is uh, Craig. Obviously, you figured that out by now. And I'm just doing the, the recap of the collection video that I did, uh, that I bought the other day. I bought that box for $10 from the LCS guy. Never had any huge hits from him, but I always done okay. And I thought he would want more for it, but it was a pretty nice, like, unorganized box of... For 10 bucks, what are you going to do? So, um, what am I going to say here? I'll show you kind of um, the majority of the stuff that was in it. It was, I'd say, 40% baseball. Man, maybe 50% baseball. I wanted more baseball. A lot of football and then some basketball. And uh, little, little odds and ends. So... And then I'll go over the stuff that I keep here. So this was football. Ah, it's stuck. So here is football. Some of these mini cards. I saw packs of these mini cards in his unopened stuff for a buck. And there was two unopened packs in that box. So here's football. Roethlisberger. There was a lot of hit, a lot of the cheap stuff. So here's some hit. I don't think I kept any from these. So this will all go in the donation. This was my hockey. Hmm. Some OPG cards, some of those game pieces, gold card, some game pieces. So this is basketball right here. Ah, it's falling. So this was my stack of basketball. Decent sized stack. Nothing too crazy in basketball. A lot of skybox and upper deck. I'll put those out of the way back there. Okay, and then here's football. Big stack of football right here. And that's just random stuff. A lot of pinnacle. Very ugly looking card. Very ugly looking card. And then here's a whole stack of Zach Ertz here on top of 2013 press pass so this was just a ton of this stuff for press pass there's zach ertz there's keenan allen so those were kind of like barely on the not keep list they're good players they're just not like that valuable to have i'm going to show you over here this is baseball those three big stacks right there and then I have some other stuff set aside right here. Just on, in regards to the baseball, I found some 2011 as there's a, a Yachty and Rolina card on top of the stack there. It wasn't the update, but I did find what looked like a couple packs of 2011. See this uh, Jeff Bagel. I've never seen these play ball cards before from Upper Deck. There was a nice mix, mostly older stuff. There was some 2021 uh, playoff contenders here. There's Heritage. There's Upper Deck. There's a nice variety. That's what I like about it. There's a lot of most of these cards I really haven't had in the other collections before. I set these other ones aside here. Here is 2012 Bowman. Nice little stack of this. Joey Votto, Prince Fielder. So those these are all cards that I'm going to keep in my uh, keeper baseball stuff. And some Gypsy Queen, Strasburg. These are just some of the stuff. There was, I, I set this aside because I'm still actually hand coding the 88 Donruss set. I know I need to Cal, I think I need the Cal Ripken for it. One of the few cards, so I set that aside. There was a stack of Upper Deck NASCAR. You see the Tony Stewart card, a weird kind of blue. It says Upper Deck MVP. I've never seen these before. So I put those aside. And then this. I love these Upper Deck Masterpiece card. They're like a portrait finish. Uh, like a canvas. Dice key. I think that's his rookie. I think that's... There was a hundred... There was a hundred pens. I think there was a Lincecum in there. So I looked these up. These are like 450 a box. So it's a really big gamble. You have to hit a nice auto and some nice uh, numbered parallels. So I was wanting to buy a box of this. I love these cards. I always like these, but that's too much. So I'll put those away. 
So let's start with, with the stuff I keep. I originally did two 30 minute videos on this and I was, I wasn't very entertaining. I don't think it was anything too exciting. Not really enough to, to justify that. So I figured I'd just erase those and do a recap video. I kept one hockey card, Mario Lemieux. I didn't really go, it's one of these game cards, playoff uh, card game. Not worth anything, but I hold on to Mario Lemieux. So one hockey card. Basketball was pretty weak. There's a uh, Patrick Ewing card. I don't even think this is not a rookie. It's an early Kevin Durant. There's a Barkley card, a couple David Robinson awards, and then what is this? Nineteen eighty-two basketball cards. So those are the only thing that I kept for basketball. Here is football. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a couple questionable ones here. Uh, once again, those tops magic, these mini cards that there's a couple unopened packs and one or two open ones. I don't even know if I'm going to hold on to the Larry Fitzgerald. There's an AJ Green blue. Like these are kind of, I'm probably just going to throw these back in the, the uh, donation pile for football. Let me do that real quick. Here's a Drew Brees. The Joe Flacco. I don't know why I held on to that. Hold on a sec here. Let me put that away. I think that was a mistake. And there's a, a Des Bryant. I think that's a mistake too. So here's an Earl Thomas rookie card. He's a, a defensive player for Seattle. I saw some something on YouTube not too long ago. Like here's like like low end player, not low end players. Here are some people that you could hold on to for the rookie cards, and they listed Earl Thomas. He may be end up being a Hall of Famer. Uh, I know, I know him pretty decently from football. He's a good defensive player. His career's getting up either in years. So I'm going to hold on to the Earl Thomas rookie card and see. Here's, remember, Aaron Hernandez? <laughs> Aaron Hernandez. Okay. Uh, I like to keep the old players. Lynn, Lynn Dawson. There's an Adrian Peterson card. The only Tom Brady. And one of the things that he mentioned when I bought it was like, oh, there could be some Tom Brady rookie cards in there. Look. This is the only Tom Brady, and it was not a rookie card. Uh, Luke Keekley rookie card. Um, that I'm going to keep that for my rookie collection. He was a really good defensive player, retired early. There's an Aaron Rodgers. Uh, so these are the really terrible pinnacles. There's a lot of these for football. Steve Young, Warren Moon, Lawrence Taylor. There's three Barry Sanders. A card that I've never seen before. So this, there's a big stack of these, not as, not as big as the uh, press pass, but there's a big stack of these. Every card had a piece of white paper on the back and it says collector's edge, root, removed to expose serial number. And they say patent pending. So these are, they're trying to make it like these were really uh, like crazy rare and like uh, gonna be valuable. So it has this piece on the back of every card. And then you pull off the serial number, if you can read that there barely, 97,926. And they all these cards were in the 90-something thousand. So I was kind of interested in those. So there's Warren Moon. There's a Jerry Rice. Any Jerry Rice numbered card is cool. There's a Steve Young, Jim Kelly. There's a Deion Sanders. I collect Deion. So we had those, and here's uh, the card that I did ca that I did, can't talk. Fucking a. Here's the card. I'm not, I'm having a good time. Um, trying to reduce stress. My blood pressure has been high. Here's the cards that I kept from the press pass. DeAndre Hopkins, really good wide receiver. There's a bunch of them as you can see, and then there's one gold. There's Le'Veon Bell. And technically, there's these players rookie cards, and then <laughs> I'm always looking for the catfish, Manti Teo. So I kept Manti Teo cards plus one gold. See if I can maybe send those off in the mail to him, asking him to autograph it as catfish. So that was my very limited football. Here is the rest, and this is the baseball. And these are just players that I end up keeping on to. And then I kept the better stuff for later. I'm definitely glad I bought this. Um, it's not like valuable in any way. I think there's one card I'll get to in a minute that was maybe worth 10 bucks. Still a cool card. So Randy Johnson. So these were these Donruss Studio 2004. 
I hold on to Todd Helton's for Chris Weaver, whether he likes it or not. Mike Piazza, decent amount of King Griffey Juniors in here. Maddox, the Ernie Banks, real cool card that I don't remember seeing before. Another Griffey Jr., Ripken, a Sosa, and there's an older Pujol, so I like that card. That was the first card I seen when I dug into the collection. I was like, hey, an older Pujols. Here's a Derek Jeter, Baseball Heroes with Jose Reyes. A Robin Yao. I don't think I'm going to keep the Felix Hernandez. Let me take that out. And then uh, Gypsy Queen. Once again, I keep the older players. Larry Doby, Harmon Killebrew. There's a Ripken. I keep the stadium card. So here's some of those upper deck. There's a Scherzer. A <laughs> Ballpark. Miguel Cabrera. And so when I, I sell stuff on eBay and I sell like team lots or player lots... If I have those extra stickers or stadium cards for the team, I'll throw those in there. There's Verlander, that Cabrera again. Very, very low-end rookie card. Thanks, John, from the past of the live, getting me into the rookie card keeping. The Johnny Cueto, so I'll probably hold on to that. Cueto was a decent player. Glavin, this is an early John Lester. And then a pretty cool-looking Ichiro, uh, accepting some award season highlights. So here's uh, another Verlander, that same Cabrera. There's a Chipper Jones Star Quest card. That's pretty cool. Uh, here's another Helton. Tony Gwynn. Kershaw. Well, I don't know about this Vado. I'm going to take the Vado out. Here's a Brandon Belt rookie card, the Baby Giraffe. Uh, Buster. A couple cards there for Clint. Jose Altuve. Here's some of that uh, 2012 Bowman sale, an earlier Francisco Lindor card, so that's cool. Uh, Strasburg, Yoenna Sept Cespedes, this is kind of probably one I won't maybe end up keeping. Here's an Araldus Chapman uh, Topps Chrome rookie card, it's nice. Hold on to that, here's an Ichiro Chrome card. Here is an Eddie Matthews, shout out to Criterium Racer Lee. So, uh, Eddie Matthews, Adam Dunn, Heritage card. And then uh, these strikeout leaders, batter leaders, another buster in there. So, give me a sec here. Get these organized. Here are those uh, upper deck masterpieces. Joe Morgan. There's Linsa coming. I think that may be his rookie card, considered a rookie by that year. Yastrzemski, Jim Palmer... Harmon Killebrew. I always get Harmon Killebrew cards. Manny Ramirez. There's a Pujols. Uh, what else do we got here? Jay Bruce. That's kind of borderline whether to hold on to that for a rookie card. Maserotsky. There's a Helton. Really beautiful cards. If you get a chance to see these cards, if you haven't seen them before, or pick up a pack or something, try the 2007 Upper Deck Masterpieces. Very beautiful cards. Manny Johnson. Here are some really kind of cheap lower end cards. I think this may be the box that, like, miniature blaster box cards that I bought of Score, Smoltz, Ricky Henderson, and Angel's outfit. That looks weird. There's a, uh, there's a Todd Helton rookie card there for uh, Chris Weaver. What is that? Got? Is that a gold? Uh, gold on the back. There's something down there. Certified Pinnacle. Rookie card. Oh, that's because it's still a rookie card. So there's a Helton. Uh, Clemens, Maddox, Gwen, another Griffey Jr. Frank Thomas, Gwen. Here's a King Griffey Jr. I don't remember seeing these honor roll cards. Two different Frank Thomases. We have these. Um, these are upper deck. It says first edition. I don't know what these are exactly. Verlander. Dexter Fowler, rookie card, another borderline rookie, whether you keep it or not. There's a Clayton Kershaw. King Griffey Jr. in the White Sox uniform. And I never, I don't remember seeing these before. I really like these. Uh, these are upper deck uh, artifacts, MLB artifacts. There's Manny. There's Chipper Jones. There's the King Griffey Jr. in the Reds. Ichiro uh, and Pujols. So there was a couple packs of newer stuff. And um, 
These are really, really cards. I don't even, they're rookie cards. I hold on to them. I've never heard of Simeon Woods Richardson. These are Panini contenders. Christian Javier is a Trevor Rogers rookie contenders. We have some other like, we have a uh, Giancarlo Stanton mini, a King Griffey Jr. Upper Deck X Fractor card, whatever. There's a mini Ty Cobb. There is Ichiro, Jim Palmer, and a Verlander. So nothing crazy in there. The the best of the remaining cards that I got was. And I don't know why I put this one on a top holder, but this is a Mike Trout 2013 Heritage Batting Leaders card with Cabrera, Beltre, and Trout. So three Hall of Famers on it. It's um, an earlier Trout card, so that's cool. I'll hold on to that. It's worth. It's a five dollar card, is all. Um, here is an A Rod card. Uh, Big League Challenge Donra Studio 2004. And it's numbered out of four ninety nine, so it's it's always nice to get a numbered card. Nothing crazy there. It's a dollar card, but and then the last of the, the better cards was I got pretty excited when I saw this one because I thought it was going to be worth a little bit more because I know for a while that there was a there was a uh, kind of run on Mike Trout second year cards because people couldn't really afford the rookies and they were getting the second year cards. So I found a 2012, 2012 Bowman Mike Trout. And that bottom corner has a little thing with it, but other than that, the, the rest of the corners are good. The, um, it's good left to right, top to bottom. I'm not gonna try to sell it or anything. It's just good for the collection. I probably had this at some point. But I probably sold the trout. So a second year Bowman trout. Pretty cool. I will take it. Probably a $10 card. And uh, just remember, um, things could be worse. Everybody hope you're doing well. This was my collection. So that was it. Uh, things could be worse. Your name could be Brian Bocock. At least his last name didn't start with an M. And he's a giant. I'm sure Clint collected his cards. Anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate you watching. Uh, and I just need Collectorholic. Let me, even if you're going to give me a fake address, give me something. Let me send off that box that you won in the collection. I uh, hope everything is well. But talk to you later. Bye.